Okay, so this is a second video about uh, superpower chat GPT tips and tricks. I want to show you three uh, different um, feature of uh, chat GPT, uh, superpower chat GPT today. Before we start, what you need to do is to go to Google, search for superpower chat GPT, click on the first link, and from there, you'll go to this page. There is a button that says add to Chrome. Click on this button and it will add the extension to your browser. Once you add the extension to your browser, you can go back to ChatGPT, refresh the page, wait for the extension to load, and then you can, you'll can you start seeing some of the new feature, the top nav bar, the search box, the folders. You can see I've already created some folder, um, the gallery. Uh, I've talked about all these features in other videos. Check out our YouTube channel. Um, and uh, with that, let's start. So the first feature I want to show you is the um, is about the plugins. So with ChatGPT, um, there are different plugins. Um, plugins that you can select from from the um, the plugin um, store, uh, the the plugin model, uh, or like plugins like Dolly and um, the code interpreter or the, the data analytics um, plugin. Code inter most people don't know this, but like Dolly, um, code interpreter, the browsing, they are all just plugins, uh, but they're like kind of fancy a plugin from OpenAI. So we consider all of them plugins, uh, including the plugin from the plugin model. So um, um, with regular uh, plugins, let's say I go to uh, chat GPT, I'm going to select the default the uh, GPT-4 model and I'm going to say um, summarize uh, superpowerdaily.com. So this is going to use uh, the browsing plugin. As you can see, it's using that and it's going to like, once it's done, it's going to like print the feature, the response on the page. Now, the thing with the plugin is that um, you want there are some some information within these drop down that sometimes you want to see and like in this case the information is very simple but like in, in for example if you're using like data analytic like if you're trying to process a file or something like that the um the content of the plugin these drop down can actually be very interesting very important to you so some people want to have these plugin open by default. Um, with ChatGPT, they are always going to be closed by default. But Superpower ChatGPT give you the option to basically have the plugin detail open by default. All you need to do is to go to the conversation tab and setting. And the second option it says open plugin detail by default. You turn that on. You close that. Now, if I go back to um, ChatGPT and maybe start a new chat and run the same prompt. This time, uh, the plugin content, as you can see, it's, I'm not doing anything. It's just already open by default. It's going to show you the content of the plugin. So that's one very easy, quick way to have the content of the plugin visible by default. You don't have to do any extra work. And if you don't want to see them, you can just close them later. So that was the uh, first feature that I wanted to show you. The second feature that I wanted to show you, I'm going to stop this, is about the example prompt here. As you can see, um, with ChatGPT, we have some example prompt here. We also have these like kind of exam. These are like prompt starter, what we call them. We have those prompt starter with um, with um, custom GPTs too. Now with prompt starters, I would say these are actually kind of useful to give you an idea how to use um, each like a specific um, custom GPTs but with like regular chat GPT these are just suggestion they are not really that useful and once you use chat GPT a little bit you just get used to it same thing with um, custom GPT once you are familiar with the custom GPT enough you don't really need to see these example prompt or prompt starters anymore. So with Superpower Chat GPT, you have the option to disable those um, example prompts. All you have to do is to just go here, toggle this uh, option off. Once you do that, you have to um, refresh the page. And after that, um, the um, 
chat gpt won't show you uh, uh those uh example prompts anymore as you can see i am not seeing them here anymore whether i go to regular chat gpt or if i go to a custom gpt those example prompts don't show any anymore so there are um some people who um don't like to have the extra um um element on the page if you're one of those people you can just very simply disable the example prompt uh from like uh, the page. So that was the second thing I wanted to show you. And the last feature that I wanted to show you is um, our um, our pinning uh, feature. So, so I just created this conversation and there is one um, message here that I really like, right? I wanna like um, be able to very quickly find that message later. What I can do is, uh, as you, if you notice, Every message that I hover over, there is like a bookmark um, icon that shows up at the top right corner of the message. I can very simply just click on this one and it will um, highlight that message for me and make that like the, the add the, like the yellow shade to it. I can like select another one and everything that I select, I will have like a bookmark icon on the sidebar too. Now, if I just continue this conversation, You'll, you'll see why those um, sidebar are useful. The reason is like, if I'm looking at a very long conversation and I have, let's say, I have a bookmark down here. Uh, if you notice on the sidebar, these bookmark icon, if I scroll up, when, when I get to the second one, the second one gets bigger. When I get to the first one, the first one gets bigger, but the second one is also still in on the screen, so it's bigger. But that's not the only thing. I can very easily click on this and it will just scroll down to that bookmark down here. Now, this is um, useful if you're like, like going between like different conversation and like, let's say I'm like looking at like some conversation and I like wanna f like go back to a conversation that I had in the past and I wanna find some something that I, pinned in the or bookmarked in the past i can very easily see all the bookmark on the sidebar and i can um like click on them and scroll between them now in the future once we add more prompt uh, like advanced prompt management feature to superpower chat gpt you will have all of these pinned prompt saved in one central place and you will have the option to search them between them. You you can like um, move them between like uh, different folders, tag them, have like save them in different categories. We'll have all those features in the future. But for now, you at least have the option to just pin them and like very easily find them later. So these were uh, three um, different features that I wanted to show today. Um, Having the um, plugin detail open by default was the first one. Disabling the example prompt was the second one. And pinning um, messages in conversation was the last one. I hope you like this. There will be more videos of like these about like the Super PowerShell GPT small features. Um, check out our YouTube channel um, for more videos. Thank you.